elastic energy in seismology travels through waves and cross the earth's interior and circumnavigate the entire surface these waves are of three types and these waves are three types number 1 p wave primary wave secondary wave s wave l love wave and last one that is tsunami wave is not virtually seismic wave rather this is seismogenic wave so if there is question in upsc which of the following four is not a seismic wave you will tick tsunami is not a seismic wave rather seismogenic wave now let us try to understand the difference between p wave s wave and l wave for simplification you will have to see that before for generalization or common sense you imagine that there is a long queue of ticket purchasers for cinema before purchase window for the noon show queue is very long curiosity is much and cinema is about to start so the back candidate will make pressure on the front and this pressure will move ahead in the form of wave and it will have impact on the candidate who is standing freely and purchasing the ticket at counter and he will feel shock from back and his face he may be able to see the cinema but his face has become his face has been injured in retaliation he will catch the window and make back push resulting into again the back wave which will cause fall of the candidate who is behind and this wave forward and backward will be called p wave or primary wave forward frustrated due to this forward and backward wave that is p wave or primary wave or this is also called longitudinal wave longitudinal means longitudinal term means suppose this is a stick you travel or or insect travels from this point and leaps the leaps it at this point this is called longitudinal journey while transverse journey means that animal or ant will have to cross it in a transverse way so longitudinal and transverse these are the two terms which are frequently used in geography for example if you are expected to write longitudinal description of himalayas you will travel along the himalayan ranges while if there is transverse classification you will make a cross journey of himalayas in the same way you take you can take example of river river has longitudinal path from source to mouth river has transverse path a cross path that's why this longitudinal term is used here in this also and this travels like sound forward and backward so this is called p wave primary wave longitudinal wave and it is of very short wavelength that's why it passes through the core and also its speed is 40% faster than the speed of sr secondary wave now see again that q where the backward and forward 
waves are moving. Frustrated with this, the middle person or any person will be fed up with the cinema and he will make 90 degree angle with this line where forward and backward waves are moving. Along with this 90 degree, he will move in different direction and leave that Q, that is secondary wave. So, this is secondary wave originating from primary wave. That's why these are secondary wave and these are also transverse wave. Why? As we have studied that along line it is longitudinal and across it it is transverse. So, that fellow has left and across moving in different direction. That's why it is called transverse wave and it moves like light not at the speed of light. It is also called shear wave but its quality is that it cannot enter the core of the earth and it reaches to the other surfaces near focus near epicenter but it cannot pass through the, through the core. Now again come and see that Q that here is a ticket window, here is the bike candidate, this wave is P wave. Along 90 degree angle along with this is made by secondary wave and now that secondary wave reaches the surface means that secondary wave reaches the room. So, question is whether he or she will be happy or not. He or she had a dream that after my mains examination I will see a cinema. But due to that failure, due to that crowd, he could not see. So, while he will reach in room, he will not like to see the things. He may throw pillow there, bucket there, because out of love he is doing this. Do you know love? What is love? Love means attraction. He had very great attraction with that cinema that day and love is always fatal and disastrous. Love can also be categorized in several classes, but here that classification will prove irrelevant, but in short, extreme love or attraction with Almighty or God is also not good. Extreme love with boy and girl is also fatal. Extreme love with your studies also is not good for your health. That's why forget love. You should be equal, equivalent in seeing the things in the object on this planet. So, now come again to our topic. These are the love wave because these were studied by Mr. Love. His name was Love. You can assess what was his work. And these are tertiary waves and these love waves are also called surface waves because these travel on the surface and and teach the lesson of love and impact to the people living on the earth. There was one eminent seismologist, Riley. He also researched on this and that's why it is also called Riley wave. And its quality is that it travels only on the surface and this is most destructive. So, there may be one again question by UPSC, out of these four, which one is most destructive? Then there are two destructive waves, this tsunami wave but in water body, this surface or love wave on land. So, people and cultural landscapes are 
on land that's why you will tick that these love waves are most destructive while which is least destructive than p wave because it has very high frequency collectively p wave and s waves are called body waves because these travel within the earth surface and these these travel within the earth surface body earth while tertiary or love or relay wave travel only on the surface and cause destruction now let us try to understand the frequency of these three waves as you are knowing that here in this length there are 10 ups and downs so 10 frequency here in the same distance 5 up down 5 frequency in the same distance 4 frequency the same distance that's why here it is high frequency wave means p waves are high frequency waves s waves are medium frequency waves and l waves or surface waves are these low frequency waves after studying the frequency let us try to understand the wave length here length between two peaks of waves is called wavelength between two peaks here is low wavelength this is medium wavelength and this is high wavelength you can add here one thing more that wave magnitude or wave amplitude magnitude and amplitudes are the deviation from normal deviation means up and down so here this will have low amplitude or magnitude and medium and very high it means these waves will be most destructive we can simplify these waves by a simple wavy suppose this is simple wavy in mother's hand for giving a good sleep mother can give this wavy primary waves means high frequency wave this way but if mother is giving medium frequency wave child will cry but if mother is giving love wave means very high amplitude wave the baby will cry out and can never sleep so this example you can also give just to understand here we have studied these three waves in short but its detail will be studied in a diagram showing the interior of the earth while this tsunami wave has recently been added in the geography course and general studies course by UPSC that's why this will be studied separately